I gotta tell you with full certainty that solving this particular problem feels like trying to convince a toddler that nap time is a good idea. A constant struggle with no clear end in sight. Well, the good thing is there is end in sight with this particular question. But let's start with the beginning. You're presented with unusual looking shapes, the combination of circles and triangle. Each shape has seven numbers. In the first shape, the inside numbers are 5, 2 and 7. The outside numbers are 2, 3 and 4. And then the middle number is 5. In the second shape, the inside numbers are 7, 9 and 8. The outside numbers are 5, 6 and 7. And the middle number is 6. And then in the third shape, the inside numbers are 5, 6 and 8. The inside numbers are 3, 7 and 1. And the middle number is missing which is something you need to calculate and select out of four possible choices. Choice A, 6. Choice B, 7. Choice C, 8. And last but not least, choice D, 9. Don't get discouraged here. We support each other in this channel. Whether you're a current subscriber actively tackling challenging questions or an occasional visitor trying to learn new skills and considering a subscription in the future, I have full faith in your ability to solve this problem. Just make sure to grant yourself enough time and think out of the box. Are you ready? I know that you solved it already on your own, but just in case, I am going to continue this adventure. Let's navigate the complexities together and exchange solutions in the end. If you have a better way to unlock this mystery or have any tips on how to solve these types of challenges, please share them in comments. Here's the tip for you on how to solve these types of problems in the future. Because we have inside numbers and the outside numbers, you need to group them and do the calculations. In this particular case, you need to group the numbers on the inside and outside and apply math formula to individual numbers in the groups and to the groups themselves. Let's look at the examples. For example, the first middle number 5 is calculated as the sum of inside numbers 5, 7 and 2 minus some of the outside numbers, 2, 3, and 4. 5 plus 7 plus 2 minus 2 plus 3 plus 4 equals 5. The calculations for the second shape are very similar. 7 plus 8 plus 9 minus sum of 5 plus 6 plus 7 equals 6. Let's calculate then the missing digit. 5 plus 6 plus 8 minus 3 plus 7 plus 1 equals 8. So the correct answer here is choice C, 8. Prepare to tackle this intriguing assessment test question, designed not just to test your mental math abilities, but also to foster your analytical skills, which you can use in the day-to-day -day life. You need to determine the missing number, which is located on the top of the pyramid. The other numbers in the pyramid are 8 and 28 in the second row, 4, 4 and 7 in the third row, and 3, 1, 4 and 3 in the fourth row. You need to calculate the missing number and select it out of four possible choices. Choice A, 26. Choice B, 30. Choice C, 32. And last but not least, choice D, 36. Let me give you a hint. Consider that I might be trying to mislead you by the way I present the information. Maybe there is another alternative look and how you can look at this data. Are you ready? I think I found my answer and I am thrilled to compare it with your solution. Let's continue so we can examine our strategies step by step. And if your brilliant approach is better or more efficient, don't hesitate to let us know in comments. Remember how I presented the information to you? I started from the top and went to the bottom. But in fact, you need to start from the low level numbers and apply math operations to the low line numbers to calculate the higher level numbers. To confuse you even more, there are two math operations are alternating in the calculations, addition and multiplication. Let's look at the example so you get better understanding. Let's look at the numbers in the bottom left corner. 3 plus 1 equals 4. But 1 multiplied by 4 equals 4. Remember I told you that addition and multiplication are alternating. So the next one would be addition again. 4 plus 3 equals 7. Let's go to the row 2. 4 plus 4 equals 8. But 4 multiplied by 7 equals 28. So to calculate the top number, we need to add 8 and 28 
to get to the final result of this, 36. So the correct answer here is choice D, 36. Get ready for a mind-bending question that will make you question your own existence. Well, maybe not to that extreme, but definitely a cognitive workout. You're presented with the very simple expression. 5 minus 2 multiplied by 4 plus 7 equals question mark. And question mark is the value that you need to calculate. Once calculated, select your answer out of four possible choices. Choice A, 3. Choice B, 4. Choice C, 5. And last but not least, choice D, 6. I'm going to give you a hint. Make sure to verify your answer before you move forward. Are you ready? Let's go ahead and dive into this brain teaser together. And remember, if you end up calculating a better way to solve it, please share your answer in comments. The key to solve this challenge is to determine the order of operations. You might have heard the term PEMDAS, which stands for parentheses, brackets, exponents, orders, multiplications, divisions, addition, and subtraction, which is also known as BAMDAS and represents correct way to perform calculations. Let's apply this order to this expression. We first need to do multiplication. 2 multiplied by 4 equals 8. So the updated expression will be 5 minus 8 plus 7. The next operation is from left to right we need to do subtraction. 5 minus 8 equals minus 3. Next step, minus 3 plus 7 equals 4. So the tip here is always remember to follow the order of operation to get the accurate result in mathematical calculations. The correct answer here is choice B, 4. You know, I tried this question and this particular one is like following a GPS which constantly says recalculating. So I'm taking a passenger seat and delegating the full responsibility of solving this particular one to you. You're presented with 3x3 three three matrix. The numbers in the first row are 11, 17, and 28. In the second row, the numbers are 25, 33, and 46. And in the third row, the numbers are 14, 16, and then comes the missing number, which you need to determine and calculate out of four possible choices. Choice A, 17. Choice B, 18. Choice C, 19. And last but not least, choice D, 21. I have full confidence that you can do it. Take a scenic route to the answer and make sure your GPS is calibrated. Once you've cracked the code and have the solution, make sure to share your answer in comments for a victorious discussion. I am excited to learn about your solution and offer my feedback. Thanks for participating and good luck solving this intriguing challenge. Here's one of my favorite questions to test your analytical skills and attention to details. You need to determine which of the values is the smallest and you're presented with five different values. The choices are A, 3 fourth, choice B, 0 0.6, choice C, 7 twelfth, choice D, 0 0.7, and last but not least, choice E, 4 fifth. Take a close look to see if you can come up with the answer. Did you figure it out? I am moving forward to share with you my version of the answer, and obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. To get to the correct answer, we need to convert all the values to the common format. You can convert all the values to decimals, or you convert all the values to fractions. It doesn't matter, but it has to be common. I chose decimal format. 3 fourths in decimal is 0 0.75. 0 0.6 is 0 0.6. And 7 twelfths is 0 0.583. 0 0.7 has the same value, and 4 fifths is 0 0.8. Now you can easily see that the smallest value is choice C, 7 12th, which is approximately as 0 0.58333. Did you get to the similar solution? If not, please make sure to post your answer and solution in comments. I love this thought-provoking assessment test question. In addition to boosting your reasoning skills, solving it improves your analytical skills as well as attention to details. You're presented with 3x3 three three matrix. The matrix has numbers 5, 2, 14, 3, 3, and 15, 2, 4, and then comes the missing number, which you need to calculate and select out of four possible choices. Choice A, 17. Choice B, 18. 
choice C, 19. And last but not least, choice D, 20. Take a close look and rationalize to see if you can come up with the answer. I think I am getting closer to the solution. The key, I believe, is to look at the colors flow. Don't you think so? With this hint, give yourself a little bit more time to see if you can figure it out. But now that I found my solution, let's explore the problem-solving approach together. I am eager to break it down step by step for you. And as usual, if you have any unique insights, feel free to contribute in comments. I think the pattern here is that the rightmost value in each row is calculated as double of the first column's value and square of the second column numbers. Let's look at the example. For example, for the first row, the calculations might be 5 multiplied by 2 plus 2 squared, which would be equal 10 plus 4, and end result of this would be 14. For the second row, the calculations will be 3 multiplied by 2 plus 3 squared, which would be equal 6 plus 9, and end result of this would be 15. So for the missing value, the calculations will be 2 multiplied by 2 plus 4 squared, which would be equal 4 plus 16, and the end result of this would be 20. Remember the hint I gave you? The flow of colors here shows the flow of the calculations. For example, 2 and 2 are initial numbers, and 14 is the calculated number in the first row. So, the correct answer here is choice D, 20. Hopefully you've nailed this question and now know how to answer similar problems on the test. Let's dive into the world of letters with this amazingly tricky question that not only evaluates your English alphabet knowledge, but also tests your analytical skills and your strategies for tackling challenges effectively. You're presented with 3x3 three three matrix. The matrix has letters inside. The first row has letters A, B, and D. The second row has letters B, D, and F. And then the third row has letters D, F, and then comes the missing letter, which you need to select out of four possible choices. Choice A, H. Choice B, D. Choice C, F. And last but not least, choice D, K. Take a close look to see if you can come up with the answer. I mentioned that this question is a little tricky, so let me give you a hint. Take a close look and consider why would some boxes, some squares in the matrix would be in gray and some would be in white. Was it helpful? I hope it was. I've unlocked my answer and I'm excited to unveil some hints for you to share the answer. Let's explore the solution together. And obviously, if you've came up with the different and more creative alternative solution or tips how to solve these types of challenges effectively, make sure to post them in comments. To answer this question correctly, let's look at our matrix from a little different dimension. Each letter here corresponds to a specific place in the alphabet which can be represented by the number. For example, letter A equals 1, letter B 2, C 3, and etc. If we follow this logic, we can replace all letters in all three rows with the numbers. So for the first row, the numbers will be 1, 2, and 4. For the second row, the numbers would be 2, 4, and 6. And for the third row, the numbers will be 4 and 6, and that would be the missing number. The next step is to determine what's happening with the numbers and how to calculate the missing number. Remember I gave you a hint? Hope you figured it out, because numbers in the white squares here are the result of addition of numbers in the gray squares. Let's look at the example. For example, 2 plus 2 equals 4. 4 plus 2 equals 6. This is how the numbers in the white squares of the second row are calculated. 2 plus 4 equals 6. This is the result of the calculation in the third row which would mean that the missing number on the intersection of 4 and 4 will be calculated as addition of 4 plus 4, which would be equal to 8. So the correct answer here is choice A, H, because H is the letter that corresponds to the number 8. And now it's your time to shine by solving this challenge. Keep in mind though that this puzzle can make your brain work in overtime, like a computer trying to update during a crucial presentation. Your only hope would be is to sip some ice water to avoid overheating. You're presented with the hexagon. Hexagon has number 2 in the middle and numbers 4, 5, 6, 14 and 23 followed by the missing number on the outside. You need to calculate 
and select the missing number out of four possible choices. Choice A, 30. Choice B, 32. Choice C, 34. And last but not least, choice D, 36. You need to solve this challenge solo and post your solution in comments. And once you solve this challenge, I promise you that you will feel like a freshly rebooted computer and will be ready for new heroic adventures. Thanks for trying and good luck solving this challenge. Prepare to tackle this tricky question designed not just to test your mental math abilities, but also to improve your critical thinking skills. You're presented with the circle, which is broken down into eight equal parts. Each part has a number, and the numbers are 14, 28, 42, 56, 41, 82, 24, and then comes the missing number. You need to determine the missing number and select it out of four possible choices. Choice A, 21. Choice B, 57. Choice C, 65. And last but not least, choice D, 96. Tricky question, don't you think so? But believe it or not, there is a logic in these numbers. At least this is what I found. And since I did find my answer, I'm thrilled to compare it with your solution. Let's continue so we can examine your strategies step by step. And if your brilliant approach is better or more efficient, don't hesitate to let us know in comments. Remember I told you that this question is tricky. Let's look in details why the answer is not obvious. Let's look at the numbers 14, 28, 42, and 56. As you can see, they all increase by 14. 14 plus 14 equals 28. 28 plus 14 equals 42. And 42 plus 14 equals 56. But then this pattern breaks, and you see numbers 41, 82, and 24. Unfortunately, this pattern is misleading, and it's there to confuse you. In this case, the random numbers could have been used as well. So what is the right solution? Take a look at the circle in the middle. If you draw the line from the number through the middle of the circle, the numbers on the opposite side of the circle are reflections of the numbers on the other side. Let's take a close look. For example, 14 becomes 41, 28 becomes 82, 42 becomes 24, and 56 then becomes 65. So the correct answer here is choice C, 65. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate you for helping us to become one of the largest YouTube channels to help people become smarter, increase your IQ, and to pass any test. If the content of this video was helpful, please make sure to click the like button to help YouTube algorithm promote this video and help other people to find it faster. Giving us a like is also a way for you to tell us that you need more content like this, and when you tell us, we will deliver it for you in the future. For links to free and premium resources, please check the description and comments of this video. You can also go directly to our website, howtoanalyzedata.net, to download the materials related to this topic. I really appreciate your endorsement, support, and patronage of this channel. And thank you for considering to become a member and considering to subscribe. Please leave feedback, suggestions, or corrections in comments. And all the best on your journey. I'll see you in my next video.